Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The DRDO's lab DRDL is developing a new missile called supersonic target or STAR. It will be primarily used as a supersonic target for testing various air-to-air -air and surface-to-air missiles. The most distinctive feature of this missile is that it's going to be powered by a liquid fuel ramjet engine just like BrahMos super cruise missile. The liquid fuel ramjet engine has inherent advantage of having higher endurance and range. The booster will be used to take the missile to a higher speed where ramjet engine can commence the ignition. Riding on success of BrahMos missile, Star can pave way for developing smaller missiles and even larger missile based on the same technology. This seems to be an attempt by DRDO to build 100% indigenous missile and master the ramjet engine technology used in BrahMos. So there has been some reports of STAR undergoing wind tunnel test by DRDO at NAL's wind tunnel facility and the development of missile is expected to be complete by 2023-24 followed by trials. Now, this missile has huge potential and application for naval platforms. As we all know that the interception of supersonic missile from warship is very challenging. The STAR missile is planned to be used for training the naval defense system against latest anti-ship missiles such as MBDS Exocet. The second stage, powered by a ramjet engine in STAR, is capable of replicating the sea skimming flight characteristic of BrahMos missile. An anti-ship missile derived from a star missile is also a fair possibility. Star can also be launched from aerial or ground platform. It can be used to train the air defense system of Army and Air Force against the interception of supersonic missiles. The missile can be launched from ground or ship using a catapult launch system and has a range between 55 to 175 kilometers. The missile has a RCS between 0.2 to 1.9 meters square, which will assist in training the air defense system in intercepting the targets with varying range. The reported shelf life of the missile is 10 years. STAR will have speed ranging from 1.8 to 2.5 Mach. Considering the fact that ramjet engine enables the missile to have higher endurance and range, the STAR technology can also be effectively used to develop an anti avox and anti-radiation missile. DRDO has planned to develop a version of STAR missile for LCA Tejas Mark 1A and Mark 2, which can be used for anti avox and anti-radiation missile roles. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.